Hi and welcome to Hands-On Education. In this video we will look at classifying living things. This means grouping things together based on their shared characteristics and features. By grouping living things together we can understand how they have evolved and why they behave the way they do. Before we group living things together, we need to ask a couple of questions to clarify if something is alive. We can ask, can it move? We see animals moving around, but plants can also move and change position. For example, when they reach out their leaves for more sunlight. Can it grow? Living things can grow and develop from young to adults. Can it reproduce? Living things can reproduce in a variety of ways. Whilst some plants produce seeds, some animals give birth to live young and some animals lay eggs. Finally, does it need nutrients? This could be in the form of food, water or sunlight. Once we know something is alive, we can begin to think about which group it might belong to based on its shared characteristics and features. Is it an animal or a plant? Some plants produce seeds and some do not. Animals could be grouped into invertebrate and vertebrate animals. Vertebrate animals can be cold-blooded or warm-blooded. Cold-blooded animals could be further grouped. Are they amphibians, fish or reptiles? Warm-blooded animals could be a bird or a mammal. Let's classify these plants into two groups. Are they seed producers or non-seed producers? Firstly, we have the fern. The fern is a plant which does not produce seeds. Next, a sunflower. A sunflower produces many seeds in the center of its flower. Here we have moss. Moss is also a plant which does not produce seeds. And finally, we have the oak tree which does produce seeds in the form of acorns. Now let's classify these animals into two groups. Are they vertebrate animals, which means they do have a backbone, or are they invertebrate animals, which means they do not have a backbone? Let's start with the blackbird. The blackbird is a vertebrate animal. It has a backbone. The cat is also a vertebrate animal. What about the snail? The snail does not have a backbone. It is an invertebrate animal. Here we have the frog. A frog is a vertebrate. And here we have a millipede. A millipede does not have a backbone and belongs in the invertebrate group. Finally, the ladybird. A ladybird is an invertebrate animal. We can use this Venn diagram to compare animals like the sparrow and the mallard. These animals are both birds and share characteristics. They both have beaks, they both have feathers and they both have wings. However, the mallard has webbed feet whilst the sparrow has three toes. Why do you think they are different in this way? The mallard lives in water and its webbed feet helps it to swim. Whereas the sparrow lives in gardens and woodlands, its three toes are useful for digging up worms. The sparrow builds nests in a tree, whilst the mallard builds a nest in water. Why do you think they are different? The sparrow builds a nest in a tree where it is safe from predators. The mallard builds a nest in water where it is easy to reach food. For your hands-on activity, group images of animals and plants based on their similar characteristics and features. You can record these observations in a table. For more information about this activity and more related activities, please go to handsoneducation.com living things. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we will see you soon. Bye.